Welcome to Inside Weiermann, our video series we bring our mortars to you. I'm Philipp Schwarz, the master distiller at Weiermann. Today I want to talk with you about different distilling processes and opportunities and how you can make perfect whiskey with Weiermann malt. My colleague Axel Jani already informed you uh, about uh, specialty malts used in distilleries in a different environment inside video. You can see it here. Uh, really important for the distiller is uh, uh, for malts we need uh, a high content of starch, we need a lot of flavor you get out of uh, specialty malts. Uh, you need enzyme activities for the mesh preparation process. Uh, and so on, and the, the color of malts is uh, for brewers really, really important. For the distillery, it's not so important for brewers because uh, distillate is always clear. Uh, but we need flavor, 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 and you get flavor out of specialty malts from Weimar. Our distillery, uh, we have a distilling plant uh, with different components. Uh, we have a distilling pot with 300 uh, liter volume, is heated up with a gas burner, uh, we have a helmet, we have an amplifier column, we have a catalyst, a reflux condenser, spirit pipe, cooler and a special German thing is we have an alcohol counter. Uh, the alcohol counter count every liter we produced on new make uh, to pay taxes for, but this is only a German thing. Now you have, I want to tell you the difference between uh, classic distillation process, you know from the Scottish uh, whiskey makers like with a wash and a spirit still, and the difference between this classic uh, distilling process and the process to uh, distill with the amplifier column. There's two different systems, I want to talk about it. In the classic distilling process you have to distill two times, so you put your mash into your uh, still pot, heaten up to boiling temperature, uh, the resulting vapor raising up, going through the spirit pipe into the cooler and then out of the receiver uh, comes our uh, first spirit, our war spirit. This spirit has only uh, around about 30% uh, volume of alcohol content. It's too low for us, so we have to take this first distillate, put it back into the cold uh, still pot and distill again, so you have to uh, distill two times in the classic uh, distil distilling process. After the second distillation process, you get your final spirit, and this final spirit goes to wooden cask for maturation process. Uh, you have in this uh, distilling process uh, a low alcohol content and uh, a lot of fusel oils and fusel alcohols because you don't have reflux in this system. What is reflux? I tell you about. Uh, I want to tell you about the amplifier column. Uh, this is a different distilling process. At the amplifier column, we have a reflux condenser. So the the vapor comes from the helmet into the amplifier column, go to the uh, reflux condenser, condensate, and then the distilling start. Under the reflux condenser we have five uh, bubble cap trays, uh, still trays also known, uh, and uh, with each distill bed we activate, we have a better interface and we have a, a, a higher increasement, enrichment of the alcohol content of our spirit. All the steam that passes the reflux condenser Go, rising through the uh, copper catalyst, going through the spirit pipe and go to the cooler and condense to our product, our distillate. Uh, in this, when we distill with the amplifier column, we have only to distill one time, not two times in the classic process. So we have a, a higher alcohol concentration, uh, we have a, a higher amount of alcohol, a higher yield of alcohol, uh, we can better separate uh, fine from non-fine flavors because we can uh, uh, 
produce a reflux inside the column and uh, condensate flavors we don't want to in our distillate. Uh, so we have a cleaner spirit and we don't need so much time uh, for the maturation time in our, in our barrel, in our, in our ware. I hope I was able to uh, bring you a little bit of uh, basic distillation uh, processes to you. Uh, like, or, like us at our social media pages. Uh, if you want to buy a Weimann whiskey, please visit us at the Weimann Living and Drinking Shop in the Brenner Straße 15 in, in Bamberg. Uh, if you have questions, uh, write me an email, send me a direct manage, uh, message. Sorry. Uh, hope you're doing well. See you soon in Bamberg. Your Philip Fuss.